Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your dumbbell only strength and cardio workout. What you're going to need today are dumbbells. The more dumbbells you have, the merrier. Grab them. For reference, today I have eights. 15s and 25s. I'll let you know what I switch out to, but remember you and I are different. I go, you can go heavier, you can go lighter. It is up to you. Just find a weight selection that is challenging for you. All right, today's format, 60 seconds. You're also gonna need a mat. Today's format, 60 seconds on, 15 seconds off, non-repeat uh, exercises, but if we're doing one side of the body, we've gotta do the other side. So today we're going to uh, do a quick warm up. We'll then get into some resistance, body weight cardio, more resistance training, and then we'll end with some cardio and a little standing abs as well. This one is going to be about 30 minutes long, just slightly over. Uh, so go ahead, grab all your stuff, grab something for hydration as well, and let's get going. We have four exercises for our warm up, so it's gonna be right around five minutes long. We're gonna begin with some uh, twists, so just working on really good range of motion here, but we're gonna add on to it. So we're gonna twist for three, two, and then bring that knee in. So every third twist, bring the knee in. And as we bring that knee in, think about engaging those in lower abdominals every single time. Take it slow, this is our warm up. We begin in three, two, and one, let's go. When you're close to me I'm blinded by your life When you're close to me 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 Last three, two, and one. All right, now we have around the world lunges. We'll perform it on the left leg. Right foot's gonna stay grounded. So we have a reverse lunge. We then have a lateral lunge, and then we have a forward lunge. We'll smooth it out. So I'm gonna turn to the side so I don't have to move so much. So it's a reverse lunge. Tap center, go out to the side. Tap center, forward lunge, and then we do it again. So reverse lunge lateral lunge, forward lunge. Last three, two, and one. All right, y'all, now we're going to come to a high plank position. We have two shoulder taps, feet are wide, and after those two shoulder taps, we'll get a stretch, knees are bent. And we're just rippling back and forth. As a modification, you can also perform on the knees. A little stretch, ripple back, high plank, shoulder tap, send it back, strong plank, try to keep those hips from moving. So when we tap those shoulders, we're warming up the shoulders, but we're also working on anti-rotation of the hips. Keep the abs tight to help stabilize the hips. Three, two, 
and one. All right, now we're doing the around the world lunges on the other side. So right leg's gonna move, reverse lunge, lateral lunge, opposing leg gets a big stretch, forward lunge. <laughs> Let's go. And one. All right, now I'm going to grab my lighter set of dumbbells. We have Poliquin lateral raises. So it's a hammer curl, elbows out, we lengthen, and then we control it on the way down. Let's go. So hammer curl, elbows out, lengthen the arms, control, control, control. So we're really overloading the delts or your shoulders on this eccentric face right here. Last three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna hit lateral raises, but we're gonna add a front raise with it. So we're right here, and then we're forward. So now we're really gonna pick up on that concentric portion, hitting the medial part of the delts and the anterior part of the delts. Let's go. When you bring it to a lateral raise, keep it slightly in front of the body. So instead of coming out directly to the side, think about coming to almost a 45 degree angle. So if we keep it a little in front of the shoulders, that's gonna hit the medial delts a little bit more and that'll prevent the traps also from rising up. Try not to swing from the lower body. And one. All right, I'm switching to moderate dumbbells. We have an alternating supinated curl, and we're gonna cross the body slightly on that curl, and then we have two bilateral hammer curls. Let's go, so supinated, cross the body, hammer curl, neutral grip for two. Flip it, alternate one at a time. Too neutral. Last three, two, 
and one. Nice work. All right, next up we have a squat and we're gonna do three pulses at the bottom. So I'm gonna hold my dumbbells like this. You could also perform it in front of the chest. So we just pulse for three and then we drive it up. Let's go. Heavy in the heels. We're grounded, we have that tripod stance, but make sure you drive through the heels. Keep the knees stacked over the ankles as well. So we're not caving in, we're not too far out. One, nice. All right, now we're going to do a reverse lunge, but we're only going to hold, a, we're going to hold the dumbbell in the contralateral hand. So left leg forward, right foot is back, right hand has that dumbbell. Hinge forward slightly to target the glutes more. So we're right here, drive through the heel. So instead of upright, this isn't wrong, but it's gonna hit the quads. So if you wanna do, the, do it this way, do it. This will hit the quads with that more knee flexion. More hip flexion, more glutes. And one, okay, wow. We're gonna do the other side. One side may feel a little bit more challenging than the other. So this is a glute focused reverse lunge. We are hinged forward, more hip flexion, more glutes. Dumbbells in that contralateral hand in the left, right foot is grounded. Instead of pushing off with the back leg, try to drive it up through the front heel. So drive through the front heel, back foot follows. And one. All right, put those dumbbells down. We had we have a little cardio circuit. We have a forward jog, two front kicks, backward jog, two back kicks. Make sure everything is out of your way. All right, so we're going forward. Four, three, two, one. Kick for two. Four, three, two, one. Back kick. And you can speed this up or slow it down as needed. So how you feeling? Do we need this as a recovery? Or can we pick it up? Three, two, 
two, and one. All right, curtsy lunge, to kick. So right leg's gonna ground, left leg is gonna move. Slight angle back, and then we kick. Now we're going from the kick to the lunge. If needed, tap in between. This is a very slight angle back, power through. Slight angle back, power through. You've gotta keep your abs tight to help stabilize this hip or else it's gonna start rocking. Three, two, and one. <laughs> that leg's on fire. We're doing the other side. So a modification, reduce the range of motion on the lunge and on the kick. You can kick down here. It's up to you. We're working though. Let's go. This side's a little bit more challenging for me. Fight through it. We got this. Three, two, and one. Wow, that was that was challenging. Okay, what doesn't challenge us won't change us. Two jumping jacks to two punches with an internal rotation option, non-jumping option. Just tap it. Let's go. Two jumping jacks, punch both sides. Three, two, and one. All right, coming our way. Let's grab your light dumbbells. Go ahead, take it down to the mat. Come into an ISO bridge position. So drive up through the heels. Extend the arms long. We are going to hinge from the elbows. We have skull crushers. It's three, two, one. Dumbbells are to the outside. Tension in the triceps, press it up. Three, two, one, and then press. Just holding this ISO bridge with it. If needed, as a modification, just take the glutes down to the ground. Three, two, 
and one. All right, coming up next, we have a chest fly. So we're not going to 90 degrees. So neutral grip, we're going to round that beach ball and then pressing it in. So we're gonna be working the chest in the front of that delt. We're coming back into that ISO bridge. So go ahead, bring it up. Now we go around that beach ball, arms are long, and then press it back in. Three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, set those dumbbells down. Now we have a tricep focus push ups. So elbows will hug in tight to the body. You can do this on or off the knees, five count eccentric. High plank. Here we go. We take it down. Five, four, three, two, one count pause. One count, drive it up. One count, pause at the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, drive it up. If you need to release the knees down, I may be doing that by the end. and one wow okay now we have some neutral grip rows hip hinge position abs stay tight to help neutralize and stabilize that low back we have a alternating so left right and then for two so here we go one at a time and then two bilateral don't think about just taking the dumbbells up think about taking the dumbbells back and then up so drive the dumbbells towards that back hip. Alternate, bilateral. And one, wow. Light dumbbells, reverse fly to Y raise. So we go around that beach ball. This time we're working the back of the shoulders, but then we're gonna take it up to a Y. So reverse fly to Y, hip hinge position. Let's go. So we're here and then take it up to a Y. Abs have gotta stay tight. Different view.
and one. <laughs> All right, bilateral RDLs. I'm grabbing my heavy weights. Abs stay tight. We should not feel this and we should not be lifting from the low back. Take the dumbbells to where you get full hip extension, then stop. So for me, full hip extension right here. I'm feeling it in my glutes, now bringing it up. So for most of us, it's gonna be right around the knee, maybe shin level, RDLs. Hinge the hips back, 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 back. Drive it up. Slow the eccentric down. If you are feeling this in your low back, think about keeping the abs as tight as possible and think about keeping the spine as still as possible. If we feel it in the low back, there's a good chance we're letting our belly kind of dip down somewhere in this movement. And recover. So one of those dumbbells down. We have a dumbbell hip hinge swing. So same motion, now we're adding some power. We shouldn't feel this. We're only taking it to shoulder level. We shouldn't feel it in the shoulders at all because before we even do, before we could, gravity's taking us down and we're coming down with it. Squeeze the glutes at the top, but keep a neutral low back. One. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. We're about to come into a sumo squat hold. <sighs> Calf raises. Wow. Just put this off to the side. Let's get low. Okay. We got this. Heels are going to go up. Heels go down. Squeeze the calves. Control it down. If needed, use something to help stabilize right here. Can be a wall, chair. Yeah, small child, maybe, maybe not my children. All right, here we go. Keep going. That's all I'm saying. We got this. And one. <laughs> Y'all, five more exercises. Next up, we have a lateral shuffle to the end. So we shuffle to the side, knee comes in, shuffle to the side, knee comes in. You can take this as fast or as slow as you want to. All right, if you're looking for a low impact option, just take it a little slower on the shuffle. Now the knee in, you can add to jump if you want, but I really just want you to get good engagement to those lower abs. Stop 
and recover. Okay, we have good old repeaters next, but a little twist. Every third rep, we're gonna hold for one count. So it'll go three, two, hold, and then we do it again. That's gonna fire up your glute. Keep the abs tight though. Don't let that hip sway off to the side. Right leg moves. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. And one. Wow, did that glute fire up or what? We gotta do the other side. Oh my goodness, okay. Big deep breath, same exercise, other side though. Left leg moves, right leg grounds. Don't let that hip sway off to the side. Let's go. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. You got it. And recover. Wow. Okay. Dumbbell ab twist. Just grab one of your light dumbbells. Coming back to that sumo squat position. And we're just gonna start to twist all about the abs and the obliques. Get low. Dumbbell to the chest. Now we're gonna twist. Keep the abs tight. So that low back is neutral. You have a slight tuck under. Just really firm up the abs. Now we're twisting. Don't hold that breath. We go with a shorter range of motion, quicker tempo, and three, two, one. One, final exercise, mountain climbers. First 30 slow, final 30, we'll pick it up. Wow, high plank position. If needed, come to the forearms if this hurts your wrist and take it to the side. Let's go. Control it. Get the lower abs to fire up. Shoulders are stacked over the wrists. It's a total body exercise, y'all. Here we go, don't hate me. We speed it up. In three, two, and one, let's go. Come to a plank hold in three, two, 
one, hold this plank, 15 seconds. Abs stay tight, head is reaching forward, heels are long, quads engaged, glutes engaged, hold it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Release those knees, send the hips back to child's pose. Wow, catch that breath, grab a drink if needed. Turn the clock off. Wow, <laughs> that was really tough. What doesn't challenge us won't change us, nice work, okay. Ooh. Tap in out after that, nice work. Okay, let's just ripple forward. <laughs> Oh, now we did do, we use the abs a lot. So whenever, <laughs> with most lower body exercises, with all unilateral exercises, we're using your core to help stabilize, always. You just don't even think about it, typically. Um, now, some of those exercises at the end, we are targeting abs, we are just standing up. All right, right hip down, look over your left shoulder. Shaking my head, because that was, you know, sometimes just, it's just way more challenging than what I expect. I'm like, wow, whoa, <laughs> crying. Oh, my eyes are watering from the sweat. All right, bring it forward, bring it back, walk the hands in. All right, let's slow down. The, I'm going to slow down the stretching today. I did get a comment asking to slow it down. So here we go. We're going to slow it down. Hold the poses for a little bit longer. Keep a neutral low back as we come in and then reach the left arm up and over, or the opposing arm. Oh, that hip flexor should just be thanking you right now. If this back knee hurts, just pat up your mat a little bit more. Big deep inhale. As we exhale, start to straighten that front leg and then hinge from the hips. Bring it down as much as needed. You can use something to help stabilize, wow. Big stretch on the back of the leg. All right, let's raise it on up. Take it to the other side. Oh, okay, left foot forward. And let's bring it on in. Neutral low back. We'll start to feel it along this front hip flexor into the quad possibly. Then when we're ready, take it on up. So something about lunges and squats. Now whenever you have knee flexion, so whenever we're hinging from the knee, you're gonna get a lot of quad involvement. So we don't have any direct quad work, but squats, lunges, typically quads and glutes are doing the work. Hip hinge, typically hamstrings and uh, hamstrings and glutes but there are ways to just it's all about intent so it's hinge forward get this hamstring stretch so there are ways in lunges and squats to hit your hamstrings and hit the glutes a little bit more by just adding more hip flexion meaning pinching from the hips so one of those reverse lunges are one of my favorite things to do and I will typically if needed hold on to something for dear life, like a wall, a chair, something sturdy in the other hand, but not holding on to something will again help stay or help strengthen and work your core. So that's just my little, the more you know today, a little spill for you. All right, let's bring it on up. Let's go ahead, hit the inner thigh. So bring it on in, start to hinge down the inside of the leg. Hinge forward, let's just take it to the other side real quick. You can bring it to the knee. Let's bring it to the knee since that's what we did on the other side. Oh, wow. All right, quick upper body stretch. So let's bring it on up to a standing position. Inhale, arms reach up. Grab a hold of that right tricep, cross the right foot over, and take a side bend up and over to the left. Inhale up to center, and when you are ready, take it to the other side, cross left foot over, grab a hold of the left tricep, and bring it up and in. Inhale up, release the arms, roll the shoulders back twice, roll them forward. 
Now inhale, one hand up, grab a hold of the opposite side of the head, and gently guide one ear down to the shoulder. Just feeling a nice stretch along your trap. Should just feel good, especially if you have a sedentary job. You may notice, at least when I work on the computer, when I edit this video, I have a little forward head lean. It's something I'm constantly working on and something I've noticed by filming myself. So I'm doing a lot of exercises to kind of combat that. It's very typical with the phones, with the computers, hunched over, traps involved, chest really tight. Bring it on in. Here I am talking again. Y'all, y'all better comment. Stop the madness. All right, other side. It's a beautiful day today. I hope you guys make it a great day. Make it a great day, y'all. It's fantastic. I'm in the best mood ever. Inhale up. And exhale, let's open up that chest from the delts. Just exhale, a little back bend by looking up. Really draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage. Uh-huh, one more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Open, y'all. You did so good today. Keep up the amazing work. Like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on IG, at Laurie Midkiff. And have a wonderful rest of the day. Y'all rock.